Hey guys, this is your host Matt here with Mental Health Reddit. Um, I just wanted to take some time to uh, put out a quick video today and do a topic that uh, is kind of close to home to me here, um, and that uh, is mental health in the military. Um, I myself did uh, four years in the Army and I noticed um, a lot of my uh, fellow service members had issues with uh, various mental health issues um, throughout their service. Um, so the video we're going to be reading here today is by Sketchy Soldiers. Military Redditors, I have depression and anxiety. Will joining the military make me better or worse? Okay, let's go ahead and get into this one here. I will tell you, in my experience, people either love being in the military or they hate it. The military works for people who need lots of structure. It might help you, but it might not. I've seen my friends join the military and it really turns their lives around. Others have joined and hated every damn second of it. Also, no, you aren't too old to lug around a rucksack. Regular exercise and the fact that I am debt free and on my way to my master's degree might help me at least improve my outlook on life. Right now, my options are very limited. I don't have very many friends right now, but if I joined, I would still not have many friends, but would at least have more opportunities available to me. My day to day might be a little drearier, but I always could justify it by thinking of the free master's degree plus a month in Thailand every year. Don't join up. You mentioned that you have depression and anxiety, and you're worried you'll have a complete and total nervous breakdown. It sounds to me you're in a crappy situation, and using enlistment as a make it or break it scenario, well, that's a bad idea. There's nothing wrong with joining the army just for the paycheck, but expecting a personal transformation from a depressed and anxious person to a self-confident go-getter is silly. It's putting far too much pressure on yourself. Why do you have depression? I was 25 and a loser living with my mom. Then I joined the United States Air Force and boom, ducking change. I suddenly had purpose, I suddenly had a reason. I now had a goal, whatever I needed to do, and a means to get there. If that's what you need, the army may actually be good for you. The downside, if you get anxious from people screaming at you or people threatening you with their power over you, you may not want to go into the military. None of the branches are free from abusive buttholes. Also, if you go OCS in the army, you will have a lot of responsibility thrown at you on a fairly short period of time. Captains, army O3s, can easily be in charge of a whole company. Lots of enlisted, including stupid ones. And all of the company's equipment, lots of money. You're still going to be lugging around a rucksack, though. The military will most definitely help you with job and money. They'll give you money and give you a job whether you want one or not. Not sure how the Army handles paying off student loan debt, but the USAF paid off 10k of mine as an enlisted member. You'll definitely be working out. I work on an Army post and they work out Monday through Friday. The anxiety will definitely not go away in the Army. It could be an issue when you initially move to your new unit, then improve as you become comfortable with the people. It really can be a hell of a boost, and I'm sure the Army can always use new officers, especially in undermanned career fields. If you do go Army, make sure to keep your crap straight. Start getting in shape now. That means running a lot, two to three miles at a time. When asked, no, you've never done drugs. Never. Never done drugs, ever. Not even pot. Never. Ever. My military experience is a little out of date, going back to 1969 to 1970, but I saw a lot of men get really screwed up mentally, ethically as well, but physically by military life. Not just those who saw combat, but those who hadn't as well. As a rule of thumb, anxiety and depression are not desirable traits in military officers. Absolutely not. I've been in the army for almost six years now. As far as my self-worth is concerned, the army is an organization only served to take me down a pig. Trouble is, they will continue taking you down until you go insane or just become a giant dickhead. If your self-esteem and self-worth is a primary motivator for joining, just don't do it, man. For financial reasons, meh. It's why I joined. And I have a roof over my head, food to eat, and clothes on my back. But the whole being away from my friends and loved ones repeatedly for extended periods of time will really do a number on you mentally. Just some food for thought. TLDR, Army has its pros and cons, but in your case, I wouldn't recommend it. It's unfortunate that it's still so detrimental to your career for some people if they end up seeking help. I've gone through the process of getting help before when I had some really bad stuff going on in my life and I just in general wasn't happy. 
The only thing keeping me happy was my job and how good I was at it. Well, guess what happens if you say that you have any of the typical stuff like being depressed or thoughts about killing yourself? Yep, they pull the wings. So they want to take the only thing that actually is keeping me happy and functioning, my life is crumbling around me? Yeah, not gonna happen. I'll deal with the depression myself then. Either I win or I don't. But you're not taking the one thing that keeps me happy. Do anyone concern? That was a long time ago. I'm much better now. I just wish there wasn't such a harsh penalty to seek help and just find someone to talk to. It'll be a better military once they're allowed to openly talk about such without punishment. Sure, I get why it's a thing, but a pressed aviator isn't going to take his crew with him when his crew is his only family. Alright, and that takes us to the end of the video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more mental health reddit videos and share your thoughts below. I'm starting this channel to help out viewers out there with issues related to mental health and giving us a place to gather and share our stories. I should be uploading three times a week going forward so be on the lookout. Until next time, peace.